Uh, in Finland, it's the, it's still compared to many other European countries, relatively uh, relatively okay. So uh, we have a we have the uh, the coronavirus um, pandemic here also, but it varies quite a lot inside the country. So South Finland, but especially capital Helsinki area. Yeah. The 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 most of the cases are concentrated on the capital Helsinki area, whereas it moves slower in the other parts of the country. How, how many cases you have in uh, in Finland today? Not that many. We are around three thousand today. Three and, thousand. And and we are testing, but not as much as people would like to see testing. So testing is going up now. Uh, but uh, we are still, uh, we are still, uh, uh, there's a big discussion about how much we should be testing. And uh, also there's a very interesting thing that the capital region is now separated from the other, so there's a block for the other countries. So you are not allowed to go to the capital region or come out there without special permission. And there is policy, police and the army on the roads to yeah. check your papers if you move in or out from the capital region. So there's right now quite big difference. The capital region is much higher. Uh, there's a much more coronavirus cases there than in other parts of country. But we expect this to to balance in the in the in the long run. Yeah. And how many people died uh, at uh, the time? Mm, not that many. I checked out you the last numbers right now. Just wait a minute. I yeah, check yeah, it out sure. right now. So in Finland, the cases are right now so that the 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 here it is. We have forty, only forty deaths. Forty dead. Okay. But uh, but and 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 Finland started very strict action. Two, three, two weeks over two weeks ago, yes. when when sc schools were closed, universities were closed, uh, only daycare for the people in the key critical jobs they can put their children in the daycare, and uh, and also all the public employees were were were, were all the people were sent to have a do their jobs at home, so only the critical. Uh, Critical uh, jobs are still done in in uh, in uh, working places, and uh, and uh, we still and then now the government this week start uh, prolonged the action until mid May. So we still have four weeks to go before the next decision will be made whether how we continue. And of course, all big public events are forbidden. Yes, and. Uh, the theaters and 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 even all the theaters and cultural centers are closed youth centers are closed etc so it's quite much locked down okay and how, how do you feel today uh it's it's uh, people are uh, i'm feeling fine i've been working all this time because as a mayor i'm i'm head of the of the uh, activities and i have to have to lead the city also in these times but overall um people have taken this quite well uh the the stay they're staying at home going of course grocery stores and pharmacies are open and many other stores are still open but no pub, no big public is allowed but the people are uh, uh so far taking it quite uh, quite well but of course now many Finns have for example summer cottages and they have the cottages outside cities and this is what worries people they would it's spring they would like to go there over the weekends but if you are in the Helsinki region you are not allowed to leave the region yes and also it's been recommended that people stay in their home cities and regions in order to make sure that the hospital capacity in different parts of the country is that it, it that we don't have problem with their hospital capacity so these people are not moving around the country and that they are not even many cases able to go to their, their to their cottages 
So yeah. that's something what people are really not happy about. Which yeah, sure. my, 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 I'm a mayor of the city of Lahti, which is 120,000 people, an urban region of 200,000 people, northeast from Helsinki. So we are one hour from Helsinki. So now this border, the border is between our city and Helsinki. So, so there is, a, it's quite strange to have a, a border inside the country close to you. So yeah. our police and the military is, is checking out all the cars and everything if you drive south from our city. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we, we are, at least in Finland, we train for the different crises. So we have uh, in our staff, there are people who are, who, who have uh, the, the um, uh, preparation for the crisis and security are their expertise. And even I, as a mayor, I have been trained to lead in the crisis situations. So Finland has a very long tradition of getting prepared of all kinds of problems. So even though this is, of course, this is a crisis, we, we have a functioning system because we took these, uh, our plans for the crisis situations and we started to act according to these plans and, and, and prepared situations. Okay. And to finish, what, what's your main hope uh, after this crisis? What, what's your main hope uh, after this crisis? What, what do you think about the future? Uh, mm. I, I, well, first of all, I hope that the, the time after crisis starts as soon as possible. <laughs> that that we don't have to uh, we don't have to wait very long time until the society starts functioning again. But my hope is that we take that we learn something from this. Yes. We learn. We utilize the findings we find as a society and as a city and as a, as individuals, and also that we we are not going back to the things as 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 uh, as we had before but we we continue with the new new findings and with our new ideas and and also that we understand that in human life and human societies things can change overnight and we yeah. keep that in our mind when we move forward so um i hope that we as a as as individual but also as a society and as europe that we really learn something from this and we utilize that that, that those things that we now find out when we are in this difficult situation yeah but what, what sort of id new id we can uh, we can have to... first of all i think what we all learn very at least i i think we learn very quickly that we are very dependent on each other Yes. We, we in, in our private lives, in our uh, in our professional lives, but also internationally. Uh, let's say as a Europe, we have to understand that we have to move forward, to and because we are so dependent on each other. Okay. So so understanding this will give results for everyone. Then secondly, I would say. Maybe the understanding of the everybody, at least I'm and as an individual, I've been thinking about what do I like in life and what I really don't like that much. So value the good things in life. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to have a, a glass of beer or a glass of good wine with my <laughs> friends as okay. soon as when this is over. That's something that now feels very valuable to share this moment with a with with my friends and, and having this chat it's not possible now i'm already missing that yeah sure okay thank you very much bon thank courage. you and, and also take care take care in southern france and in marseille yeah, for you also take care in finland thank you. thank you see you thank you see you bye 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 merci beaucoup bye bye